Energy, and and today, as I go deeper into uh, House of the Dragon, uh, I come across this character here, Aegon Targaryen, Prince Aegon Targaryen, or as I like to call him, that kid I don't like. And I'm telling you because this kid is nothing but trouble, all right? This kid, Aegon, happens to be the firstborn son of Viserys I. So if you've been following the story, you know this is going to be trouble right here. Because just before this, you know, this is this is with the with Alicent, Alicent Hightower, right? Who he took on as a bride, who who Reynard does not like already. And then you start putting out boys and you're immediately challenging her throne. Because remember, at this point, she is the heir to the Iron Throne. This is a big deal to her. And if yeah, like I say, you know what side of the table I come out on this already. I'm like, somebody should already should already done something to this baby, all right? You should it shouldn't even be a threat, Rhaenyra. Our people are on point. And you can see, this is the whole clan here, the Targaryen clan here. I mean, this is just like, everybody's mad over here. Nobody's really like, look, he's, he's pensive, she's concerned. He, these two are just flat out angry right here. And that's what goes on, because this little kid right here, this little fat kid, will be the real motivation for the Dance of the Dragons. Because Rhaenyra is not having it. And as soon as this kid comes up, and he, they're talking about him, it's going to divide this kingdom. I talked a little bit about it. When I talked about his mother, Alicent Hightower, and whose father was the hand who set this whole thing in motion. So now this little fat kid, we get to see who's going to go, who's going to go down, all right? His side, his faction, I think, will be called the green. Her faction, or is it the red? I think her faction is the black. And this will be what will really get it popped off. So we don't see a lot about this kid. Obviously, he doesn't do much. But there's heavy support for him as soon as he's born, that he be named heir and put my who I think is a true heir, Rhaenyra Targaryen to the side, which you also know, Damon's already like, yeah, I don't like this. I get cut out because he's got a little thing going right near. So he's like, we can just go ahead and get married and be King queen and take that throne ourselves. So, and I actually think they make a stronger case. I mean, I don't know. It's just who I like. So this is where Aegon comes in. We're going to see how he, how he fares against his sister. Who's already got a dragon. She's not playing around. I think you should just take that dragon and get this little kid while he's in his, and get his little brother too. There's two of them. Take care of it all at once. She won't have any more. And then we're back in charge like we should, we should be. So thank you again as I start to break down more characters and some of the places that you want to know about this new series.